It's stormy. For some reason my visibility is 50 even though I don't see a single person. Who could possibly see me here? This is an interesting little hideout. For some reason this reminds me of the Hitman games, I'm not sure why. You know? I'm pretty sure if you were holding a torch at night and you're supposed to be on the lookout for people, I'm pretty sure by holding the, the torch you would basically be blinding yourself because your eyes would adjust to the light and everything around you would just be like pitch black. In other words, bad idea. Putting torches around, good idea. Holding a torch yourself, not so good. You can't see me, don't even pretend you can. go in the front door, but I would like to find a side door. <laughs> yeah, I thought they saw me. It went yellow for a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Excellent. And we're in. Holy crap. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith, and that my victories are many and my wounds few, that I might further your kingdom here on earth. And if I meet Let's death, turn that off. Then let it be there we go. I cast a mighty Heat sig. Back into the lake of fire whence they came, and then rest finally. Human. No, no, charges set to human, no. I don't want them to blow up at all. I'll leave them. What the, what the hell? I guess I'll leave them on human. Human, I mean, they're disabled, but. Just, just in case, I guess? I like how there's just an option there. Like. If you had. A computer system where you could just change the heat signature instantly to blow up in response to you instead of someone else, wouldn't you want to p put like a please confirm, are you sure you want to do this, yes, no sort of thing? I'm pretty sure you'd want that. I mean, for God's sakes, there's such a thing as UAC prompts. If you have UAC prompts for doing something simple like just installing a program, I'm pretty sure you'd want something like that for, I don't know, blowing up people? Just a thought. That looks like some fancy weaponry. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's the same password, isn't it? Yeah, sock. Whoa, why am I in the red? What the hell was I in the red? Wasn't that bright? I just went into the... I'm going into the red again. Why am I in the red? Oh, I will take... I will take that? No, I can't. I guess I'm full. I, um, should I upgrade my stealth? Whoops. Didn't mean to click that. I'm starting to think maybe I should upgrade my stealth. 
My sneaking's already seven, though. I can't even upgrade it. I need two more experience points. Mm, strength or stealth? Strength or stealth? Oh. Yes, come here. Ah. Not that I'm going to need it, after all, I should not alert anyone to my presence, but just in case, I have more shotgun rounds. Hey, stop right there! Seriously? Just, just fucking kill me. Okay, cool. Was seven sneaking? I went all the way into the... I, I'm confused. I mean, if there's like a spotlight in the hallway, I would get it, but it doesn't seem that bright or noticeable or... I don't know. Like, look, I'm already... I'm almost maxing out. Even though I'm just right here in this room. This moderately lit room. I'm 100 and I'm red. Why? Why? Oh shit, I think someone heard that. Did it work? Oh my god. Someone there? <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> hey, where they go? Everyone is in there. I, I can't go into the hallway without them seeing me. Don't turn around. Don't, don't, don't look over here. Don't look over here. Fuck. Okay. I'm actually going to need to make large use of Auspex to get through this without killing people. This is going to be really difficult. I keep going almost into the red. I don't get it. You know, it almost seems like um, your visibility is partially largely maybe, controlled by how many people are around you. And the fact that I'm surrounded by so many enemies might be pumping the number up, even though they're not in this room. Even though they're just below me. It seems like that's kind of how it works, from what I've noticed. Alright, here we go. What is this? This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. We have tracked LaCroix to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the, to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart, like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hellspawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. We have been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ankaran sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems convenient in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machination, machinations, machinations, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, 
but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt, one of his sucklings came to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems a great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the Father's. The Ankaran sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the, de the demon spawn were behind it, and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know now that these may very well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night, of his hideous... visage? Vis visage? Not sure. Burned to ash in a great inferno. May it be that this is a vision given to me by God, and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported a disturbance in the vampire co coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party, and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. We could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I know not their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness, warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us, and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart, and will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansson from his hotel room last evening, and brought him back to the monastery. I am convinced that LaCroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. Well, I'm about to be a thorn in their holy sides. Although probably not before I re receive many bullets in my sides. Because I'm probably going to have to reload multiple times. Just look at how many there are. I mean, I could kill them. In fact, I might have to. Where's my quest? Yeah, it just says I need to locate him. It doesn't say I need to remain undetected. You know what? I think... I think I need to use a distraction. I do. I have to use one. Did they hear it? Yes, they did. Excellent. Yes. Why are they blue? Whoa. They're gone. Hey, who's there? Unfortunately, they didn't hear it enough. Yeah, did you hear that? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, for Christ's sakes, come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Good, 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 good. I'm going, I'm going. Oh my god. Huh? How the fuck did I do that? I'm saving. Wow. Wow. That, I just barely made that. Oh 
<laughs> Holy crap. There's so many of them. Society of Leopold, Someone interior... Out. Oh, shit. Hey, stop right there. Fuck. Well, that's the end of that. I, I really want to make this a stealth run. Come on. I really want to do this without being seen. I just wish I could hear their footsteps more. They're practically silent. I mean, some of the guards I've encountered have... They sound like horses clomping about, and then other ones like these have, like, no footstep sounds. It's weird. I mean, I could kill them... I could kill them silently, like, I don't have to be seen. And not merely his own unresolved grievances. Are you mad? Brother Grunfeld will not tolerate such insubordination. Hold your tongue. You know upon whose direct authority he acts? Yes, I know. Far be it from me to question the edict of the Holy See. You would do best to remember your place. Brother Grunfeld is a faithful warrior. He has battled Satan's spawn for longer than you I had to do that. Then I pray the Lord grant me the same years to fight in his army. Amen. I have no idea what they said. I was too busy worried about that guy. What is that? Oh, some sort of piece of text on the Ankaran sarcophagus, I think. Okay, what the hell did I pick up? I picked up... Uh, oh, this. Titled Vampire... Apocrypha. Unidentified sarcophagus discovered by Julius of Gaul. 1068 AD, near Ankara, Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown, and is mostly considered a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re-entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact, save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin although these symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient Sumer of Mesopotamia. It has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gaul described, described the artifact as being a nefarious and a dread thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Yeah, let's just say I'm not exactly looking forward to opening it. It doesn't sound very pleasant. Did I pick up anything else? Did I pick up something else? I don't think I did. I picked up a shotgun or something. But anyway... Okay, so where is this person? Hey, who's there? No one. Huh? Huh? Someone there? No. Nope. Ah, Go back to your post. Yes. Screw it, I'm just gonna kill him. Not not slaughter, but I mean kill them silently. Did he seriously Hey, who's there? Is he able to see behind him? Does he have eyes on the back of his head? Ah, I'm in the red. Gone. Oh, shit. Someone there? My attempts to um, silently kill these people is not going so well. Alright, let me take a look around. Where is this person that I even need to find? I don't even see him. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake, what the? He has eyes on the back of his head, basically. Hey, where'd they go? Someone there? Hey, who's there? Someone there? Someone there? Huh? Someone there? Someone there? <laughs> huh? What? I, uh... No one's here. I'm in the green. You can't see me. Oh, come on. At some point, I'm going to get so fed up with waiting, I'm just going to bash everyone in the face. Alright, you're just going to stay there forever, aren't you? You're going to do that, aren't you? Okay. Fuck off. Apparently he's deaf. Tried to slip by him. Hey. Okay then. Hey. Right. Well, I don't believe the person I'm looking for is there, so I think I need to go into the basement. I'm just gonna get the hell out of there. Screw that place. Let's start killing. I'm in the red, of course. Of course, I'm in the red. Seems particularly uneasy this evening. Yes, Lacroix has begun to move more openly, and Brother Grunfeld grows impatient. Ah, yes, Lacroix. As always, Brother Grunfeld focuses only on his old nemesis. Let us hope his fanaticism best serves the interests of our order, and not merely his own unrest. I don't think I can sneak past this. I mean, really, how can I do this? Brother Grunfeld will not tolerate such insubordination. Hold your tongue. You know upon whose direct authority he acts? Yes, I know. Far be it from me to question the edict of the Holy See. I think that's the person I need down place. there. Brother Grunfeld is a faithful warrior. He has battled Satan's spawn for longer than you've been alive. Then I pray the Lord grant me the same years to fight in his army. Yeah, I think I need Amen. to go to through that door I'm looking at right now. Maybe... I'm still in the freaking red. Why am I in the red? Hmm. I don't think I can do this with stealth. But I'm gonna keep trying. No, oh, I mean, this guy around the corner is... Wait, is he, oh, he's looking the other way, actually. This guy's just moving too much. I'm, I'm gonna be seen. Oh my god, okay. Never mind, I'm good. <laughs> Save. Damn. MLG. Alright, that lowered... Getting rid of him. Lowered my... Stealth problem. You shouldn't be able to see me. I'm in the green. Okay. Wait for this guy to go around. Oh, go away. And now is my move. Nope. Shit. I can't get to him fast enough. Unless... I use celerity. 
Oh god, someone's coming, someone's coming, back up! <laughs> oh my god, it worked. Maybe I can do this while never being detected. Alright, where's, where's the guy that was coming? He gave up. Okay. That's fine. Oh, no he didn't. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're in business. I think that's... I think that's basically it. I mean, I should should be pretty straightforward. It didn't seem like there were many enemies down there, if, if any at all. Same password for everything. That is a bad idea. They should have had different passwords for all the different computers. Not that it really would have stopped me, but, you know. Alright, blood buff. I guess the key from up above probably would have worked for that, but I don't have it. It's fine. And one, once again, I'm pinged at 100 and red. Let's make this one fun. What if I stealth kill with a hammer? Oh, someone's coming. Can you stealth kill with a hammer? Because with the blades, you just like... Shove it through their back, but with a hammer. <laughs> what? How is that a stealth kill? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I literally put him inside of the wall. Oh shit, I'm I'm red. Why am I Oh fuck. Someone there? I can't move. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm red. I'm 100 red. Where they what? go? Huh? What? <gasps> what? I I don't I, I am truly a master of stealth. Huh? Hey, who's there? Huh? <gasps> I am a master of stealth. Wow. Holy crap. <gasps> he literally pointed his shotgun at my face. While wondering, is someone there? While my stealth meter was red and at a hundred. Wow. Wait a minute, there's gotta be some... Wait, what is this? Oh. Oh. I don't know where the hell the barrel went, but yeah, there's a secret entrance. Wait, is this, is this just like a secret entrance to the building? Or am I actually going to where I need to go? I think this is just a secret entrance. Yeah. Or, wait. Is it? Oh, no, it just goes deeper. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was inside of the building. Never mind, he's, he is not. He is somewhere down here. Hey, buddy. Remington M700. Did I not have that before? I guess I didn't. 
Those are some serious munitions. Either that or they're some of the largest crayons I've ever seen. But I'm pretty sure those are munitions. Let's just skip past him. Here. Go play with that. Yeah. Hey, who's there? Let's go this way. Shh. Did you hear something? Perhaps. Shall I go and investigate it? No. If someone is out there, let them come to us. There's only one way in here. If you're mistaken, there's another way. We must be cautious. Yes, I suppose. But I don't know the man who can hold his breath for that long. It is not men we need to worry about. Ah, uh, yes. I see your point, brother. We shall be cautious indeed. Thank you for the information. Apparently there's a secret entrance by water. Are the stories true about him, I mean? Brother Grunfeld? Yes. What stories have you heard, young brother? There are many. Some say he saw his own mother eaten alive by a coven of witches, and others that he once killed an elder vampire with his bare hands. There are even whispers that he is the resurrected Saint Leopold, come to lead his armies into the final battle against the armies of darkness. <laughs> Not all stories you hear are true. Brother Grunfeld is a good soldier just as you will become if you have faith in God and the discipline to stand in his arm. It is also said that he once killed a man of the Brotherhood because he refused to follow order. Hmm. Some stories you hear are true, young brother. Huh? Wow, they really are very sensitive, aren't they? I want to kill them all, but it's probably best, best if I just sneak past them. Oh crap, too many, too many here. I'm in the yellow. Alright, just... Fuck off, will you? Okay, good. What what is up with you? Will he see me if I go in front of him? I think he will. Shit. Come on, move. Hmm. If I can just make it to the water, will I be fine? I think I might. That's probably another, the other entrance, I would think. I'm going for it. Right here. Ammo full. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Put your sword away. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is nasty. Oh, whoa, I fell through the boat. Okay, well, there's supposed to be another entrance in the water. Maybe it's not the water here, but it's the water somewhere. Oh, wait a minute, what is that? Eh? 
Is this it? Oh crap, I wasn't even crouched. Someone there? Nope. No one here. Okay, they have a bunch of cages down here. him. This way. Hey, he's there. That was close. Alright, nothing in there. Also, nothing in here. Can I even pick these? I can, for some reason. <laughs> Lock difficulty 10. Yeah, there's nothing in the cages, though, so... Pointless. I'm not even sure where I'm at it anymore. Wait, I think I just looped. Maybe that was the secret entrance and I just got away from where I needed to go. I think I just went backwards. Yeah, shit. That's what they meant about there being another entrance. They meant the water here. I just went backwards. That is unfortunate. It did seem strange that I was going back in that direction, but I didn't question it. Maybe it was just strange level design, but nope. Alright, maybe I can jump up over here. Oh, what? Well, that didn't work. Holy crap, whatever they just shot me with did a shit ton of damage. Okay, they can spot you very easily in the water. Lesson learned. I guess the splishy splashy noises might kind of give you away. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? That can't be right. What the fuck? Did I not save? Like, ever? Holy shit. Did I really? I didn't? Crap. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. I managed to get back here and climbed up this ladder here. Now let's try to do this. Emphasis on try because this looks very, very difficult. There really is no angle of approach here that I can find. Other than just, well, shooting them. Because I don't think I can get behind him without him seeing me. Oh, hey, stop right there. Indeed, you can't. And if I go in through the front, well, I don't think that's going to work either. And I see no distract, no distraction here. Let me try this. Maybe I can get them to come over here. Wait, holy shit, seriously, I'm in the green here? Hey, who's there? A jump, jump. There we go. I don't even know how the hell that worked. How am I less seen going through the front than staying by the rock?
Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm in the green. I'm in the green. I think I'm good. What the fuck? I'm in the green. Go away. Huh? Huh? Is someone there? Is someone there? Is, is, is someone there? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what the hell was that? Jesus. Okay. I made it. Oh. <sighs> It's a rather creepy looking place. What is this? What exactly do they keep down here? Well, other than probably the person I'm trying to look for. Uh oh. Um, you missed, apparently? I don't even know what just happened, but apparently you missed. I knew Johansson would lure the servants of Satan, but I set this type for the Archfiend himself! Where is LaCroix? Does he really think LaCroix would come here alone? LaCroix, you think LaCroix would come here alone? Perhaps when LaCroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it! Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? When I get done with you, even Saint Peter won't recognize you. You should have begged for God's mercy. I will show you none. Nor I you. This, this is a training ground, isn't it? I see f Yeah, a target. Bunch of targets. Is that a Dracula? He is blind. I'm in the green. And that is a Dracula. How cute. They think we're anything like Dracula. I think he needs to clean his lens on his scope. Oh, I'm in the yellow. That's bad. Oh, he can't even see me. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> no line of sight. <laughs> Holy fuck! What the fuck was that? Oh, shit! Okay then, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take an Elder Vitae bla bag. Should get me up to max? Yeah. Let's save. Should I just run? I'm just gonna run. You can't touch me. What the hell? Where is he? Oh, shit. Well, damn. If he's just gonna teleport, how can I even do any damage to him? Fuck. Maybe I should try to shoot him. I do have this thing. Which apparently has a very bad zoom-in function. I guess that's because my ability to use it is crap. Let's try this. What? Is that saying zero? What? Uh, no fair. I, I call hacks. Okay, that did some damage. Right. Well, this is going to be difficult. Celerity and presence. Ow. 
Don't shoot me! Fuck! This is gonna be practically impossible. From melee character. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Fl oh god! Flamethrower! We must investigate. Holy crap. Okay. Where'd, where'd you go? Where is he? Where the hell is he? Ow. Heal. Heal. Okay, here we go. Boom. Fuck you. Oh shit, I'm out. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done that test fire to begin with or I would have had enough to kill him. Where is he? Oh, fuck. Come here, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, you son of a bitch. I got one hit! One fucking hit! Okay, that's a really bad aim. Not a knife, that's not gonna work. Oh, fuck. I have celerity. Ow. Move. Jesus. There. Jesus. Fucking Christ. That is like the worst possible boss fight for a melee character. The worst. I wish I didn't do that test shot with the flamethrower. I used up like 20 ammo or something. That would have been it. I could have killed him. Man. Inventory full. Do I really want a sniper rifle? I really don't care. Could I even drop anything? Can you drop? Yeah, you can drop stuff. Okay, well, I sure as hell don't need a knife. Nor do I need this. I guess I need to drop a weapon. Um, this thing has one shot. So that blows. What do I want to use the least? Alright, well, a Glock has more damage potential than this. This has longer range. Eh, whatever, I'll drop this thing. Alright, I believe that's just, yeah, that's just normal katana, katana, which I already have. Let's check it out, actually. Look at the scope, I have one shot. <laughs> it's not really a scope so much as just zooms in your view. Whoa, whoa. Target practice, oh my god. Success. And now I'm out of ammo. Alright, I guess I probably go up to the door. Yes. Now where is this goddamn archaeologist? I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go! Dr. Johansson? I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. There's a boat not far from here. Help me and I'll help you escape. Yeah, yeah, okay, anything, just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. 
I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me what you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? I dealt with them. They won't give us any problems. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you help me escape. Agreed. All right. Where should I begin? What can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? No. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt, but I... Uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. <laughs> only one king? In other words, the king was a vampire. Or... Something like that that doesn't live the normal lifespan of a human. Please continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like a Dracula or something. <laughs> Okay, so what does this have to do with the sarcophagus? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years, but this is who is believed to be contained within. Are you sure? Men educated, guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. You compared him to a vampire. Any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage, but there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. So, Meserach drank human blood? Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents, don't misunderstand me, I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires, that's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. How did you find the Ankaran sarcophagus? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site. 
following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. I'm interested. Please go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Okay, do you really believe Meserak is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with, uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. <laughs> what else do you know about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. So how does the sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. A key? Of course. Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Alright, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. Alright. Time to get back to the boat. But before I do that, I'm actually going to end this episode here because I've been playing for about five hours. And before this turns into another seven hour session like before, I think I'll stop. As much as it's tempting to just say, do one more thing, you know, just get to the boat and just go talk to LaCroix. Just go, go read your email. But as soon as I start doing that, then it's now it's another hour later and then it's another hour. So I probably should actually stop. So I think we're getting close to the end. How close? I don't know. I really don't remember. It's gotta be close to the end, though. I've been playing this for so long. It's such a long game. I'm amazed, actually. It's far longer than I thought it would be. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, no. Not at all. Alright. So I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.